flipped and the signs on I-24 between Murfreesboro and Nashville are now live. And our Rebecca Schleicher joins us live from Laverne to show us what they look like and how they're working. Uh, Rebecca, how does TDOT expect these things to help out? Well, Ben, Amy, TDOT tells me the whole idea is that better communication and earlier warnings using these gantry signs can help make traffic from getting worse, stopping secondary crashes and adding additional traffic when incidents do happen. 175,000 drivers pass through this corridor every day. It's one of the worst in the state with some of the slowest congestion and highest number of serious crashes. Civil engineering manager Michelle Nickerson lives nearby. She's been working on the $64 million plan to build the new smart corridor since 2017. It, it feels good to finally be able to see it. Um, I also drive this corridor every day, so I'm hoping to see some many benefits from it myself. Here's how it works. If there are no problems, you won't see much, just the normal speed limit posted on the 67 gantries. But once a crash or lane closure happens, the green arrows show which lanes are open. Yellow X's show lanes that are closed ahead. Red X's show where lanes are currently closed. If TDOT wants to let drivers get around an issue, you may even occasionally see a green arrow pointing to the shoulder. So there is the potential that that will help open up the shoulder to be an actual traffic lane. In, ma in major incidences, yes, but mostly to how we get you to the next exit. And heads up, the speed limit will change if there's an issue ahead. That's what we're looking at right now with speed limits currently enforceable right here on the Rutherford Davidson County line as 30 miles an hour. And you can see why there's a lot of brake lights up ahead and it is just slowing people down to go where the actual traffic is flowing. So TDOT says the whole idea is just to stair step those speeds down to prevent those secondary crashes. When folks are going 70 miles an hour and come up to standstill traffic, things don't usually go well, Cole, as you know. Uh, do we know what it is that's causing this slowdown here at that Davidson-Rutherford County line? You know